Hi everybody, I'm Erica and welcome to my channel Dizzy Knits and Curls. So I recently dyed my hair pink and it's been fading out a little bit. This is Manic Panic's Hot Hot Pink and um, I've used this several times before. If you go to Manic Panic and you think I want to dye my hair pink, you might be absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of pink options that are available. So there's very light pink, there's some darker shades of pink, and then there's three pinks in the middle that they consider hot pink or vivid medium pink. And the difference between them is pretty subtle on how they're described. So I have all three of them, and before I retouched my hair, I thought I would swatch them out on some white paper and show you guys the differences. So they have, first and foremost, Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink, which is the one I use. This is what it fades like. And this is a classic. I have used this since like the 90s. It's a very, very, very bright pink with a really strong purple undertone. Then they've got Pink Warrior, which um, they donate some of the money for this one to breast cancer research. And this one is considered to be a slightly darker and cooler pink than Hot Hot Pink. And then this is Cleo Rose. I've always wanted to try Cleo Rose. This is considered a warm pink. So vivid, medium, warm pink. So I thought I would swatch all three of them on paper and we can see what the differences are so that you can make a more informed decision if you decide to do pink hair for Manic Panic yourself. So here it is in the pot. And I'm just gonna get some on the paper. All right, here is hot, hot, hot pink. Please ignore my kitty. She would like me to feed her for like the 27th time today. Um, this is Pink Warrior, which is, yeah, you can see it looks a little deeper and more fuchsia in the pot. And there is a difference. It's darker, but it looks like the same color, but darker pretty much. So that might be a good option if you wanted a slightly deeper pink or if you wanted the pink this fades to, but you wanted it to take longer to get there. And then finally, Cleo Rose. And this one is considered warm. These other two are called Cool Pink on Manic Panic's website. So here's Cleo Rose in the pot. It looks red. That pretty much looks red. And then, ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of would consider Cleo Rose more of a red than a pink. But it does look pink. It's just more of a rose pink. So what I'm thinking I might do, let's try it. I might mix Cleo Rose and Hot Hot Pink when I retouch my hair. So let's see what happens if we mix that on my paper. Luna. because I really want like more of a balanced pink. Oh. I may have found my perfect color. So there you go. That is definitely hot pink. It's gonna fade closer to the hot, hot pink, which I think is a really pretty pink fade, but it's just a little bit more medium. That being said, as Cleo Rose dries down, it's not that much different than the other two. So yeah, I think that you could get any of these three and have a good shade of pink in your life. So I hope that that was informative and uh, I will, next time I see you guys, I'll probably have this hair retouched because yeah, fading out. Talk to you guys soon.